NASA investigators said a close call at the space station last summer was the most serious incident ever during a spacewalk. It should have been prevented, they said. An Italian astronaut was in danger of drowning because of a leak in the cooling system of his spacesuit. Here's Bob Orr. 44 minutes into his spacewalk last July 16th, astronaut Luca Parmitano reported water inside his helmet. I can feel it in the back of my head. I don't understand where it's coming from. The fluid buildup quickly got worse, making it difficult for him to hear and see. Mission flight controllers ordered Parmitano and his spacewalking partner back inside the International Space Station. Later, Parmitano described his close call. I experienced uh, what it's like to be a goldfish in a fishbowl from the point of view of the, of the goldfish. And NASA spacewalk officer Karina Eversley conceded excess water in a space helmet presents a real danger. The choking or drowning is definitely a possibility. NASA engineers still don't know what caused the leak, but an investigative board has concluded the incident should never have happened. In a 222-page report, investigators criticized NASA's failure to properly handle a similar water buildup Parmitano had experienced just one week earlier during a July 9th spacewalk. Had the source of the water been investigated thoroughly, the subsequent mishap would not have occurred. Investigators found engineers quickly dismissed the first leak as the likely result of a faulty drink bag. While investigators found no evidence NASA acted recklessly, Administrator Charles Bolden today warned against ever putting mission needs ahead of safety. In a memo to his staff, Bolden wrote, In our exuberance to get the job done, we may have allowed ourselves to accept the commonly accepted causes for small anomalies. NASA says it will not conduct any more non-emergency spacewalks before the problem is better understood and new safeguards are put in place. Scott, that could be later this summer. Bob, thanks very much.